Hey guys, my name is Ajit and I welcome you all in my YouTube channel. So today's video is all about DSD sensor. In this video, we are going to cover few important points related to DSD sensor. Like what is DSD sensor, pin identification and configuration of DSD sensor, working principle of DSD sensor and difference between DSD sensor and DSD module. DST specification, application of DST sensor and DST 11 equivalent temperature sensor. Before starting video, I request you guys to please like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment if you have any query or suggestion for me related to video. So without wasting more time, let's start the video. So this is your DST module and this one is your DST sensor. In DST sensor we have four pins and in your DST module we have three pins and light only. So this is how it looks. You can see the size. What is DST11 sensor? DST11 is a low cost digital sensor for sensing temperature and humidity. This sensor can be easily interfaced with any microcontroller such as Arduino, Raspberry Pi, etc. to measure humidity and temperature instantaneously. Pin identification and configuration. In DST sensor, we have four pins and as I told you in DST module, we have three pins. In first pin is your VCC means power supply. The power supply is uh, 3.5 volt to 5.5 volt. Data, second pin is your for data output both temperature and humidity through serial data. Third pin is of no use NC, no connection and hence no use. Fourth pin is your ground pin connected to the ground of, uh, of the circuit. In DST module we have same pin VCC, data and ground. First pin is used for power supply, second is for data and your uh, third pin is for no use and fourth pin is for ground in DST sensor. And in D DST 11 module we have first pin uh, power and data and third one is your ground. You can see in this uh, diagram, this one is your DST sensor and this one is your DST module. You can see in DST sensor we have four pin. VCC data and ground and in DST module we have three pins ground data and VCC so in DST sensor we have four pins also but this pin is no use there is no use of this pin so working principle of DST 11 sensor DST 11 sensor consists of a capacitive humidity sensing element and a thermistor for sensing temperature the humidity sensing capacitor has two electro electrodes with a moisture holding substrate as a dielectric between them. Change in a capacitance value occurs with the change in humidity level. The IC measures process this change resistance value and changes them into a digital form. So I'll show you in this picture. So this one is your upper electrode and this one is your lower electrode and this one is your moisture holding substrate okay so again we'll see humidity humidity sensing capacitor has two electrodes one two upper and lower electrode and a moisture holding substrate as a dielectric between them you can see this one moisture holding substrate this one and two electrode and between this one this one is your humidity sensor. Change in capacitance value occurs with the change in humidity level. The IC measures process this change resistance value and change them into a digital form. So this is how it measures a humidity level. Now for measuring temperature this sensor uses a negative temperature coefficients NTC thermistor which causes a decrease in its resistance value with increase in temperature to get larger resistance value even for the smallest change in temperature this sensor is usually made up of semiconductor ceramic or polymers difference between dst11 sensor and module the only difference between the sensor and module is that 
The module will have a filtering capacitor and pull up resistor inbuilt. And for the sensor, you have to use them externally if required. So this one is your DST module and this one is your DST sensor. So in a module, we have filtering capacitor and pull up resistor inbuilt. But in this one, we do not have this one. So if required, we have to use externally. DST11 specification. You can see the specification, operating voltage, operating current, output, temperature, humidity range, resolution and accuracy. Accuracy can check for the, this one is for temperature and this one is for humidity. You can see on your screen. Application for DST11 sensor. This sensor is used in various applications such as measuring humidity and temperature values in heating, ventilation and air conditioning system. Weather station also uses these sensors to predict weather conditions. Now you know what are the you means uh, what are the various applications of DST11 sensors. So instead of using DST11s, what are the other sensors we can use? So in front of you we have uh, three different sensors like DST22, AM2302 and SHT71. So these are few more sensors like uh, DST11s we are using for temperature and humidity. Instead of using DST11, we can use this sensor also. As I told you, DST22, this one white one, and AM2302, this one, and SHT71, this one. We can use this sensor also. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. Keep supporting.